everyone, welcome back to our core subject, the science, technology, and society. For today's discussion is the continuation of our lesson one, which is the science and technology throughout the history. And now, we will discuss the topic, historical development of science and technology in the world. But before that, we have here our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, students are be able to discuss the science and technology in the world identify the historical evolution of science and technology, and trace the various era of discoveries, and appreciate the intellectual thinkers and the invention of science and technology has shown. In this lesson, we're going to tackle the historical development of science and technology in the world. So science and technology is associated in all means of modernity and is considered as an essential for rapid development. The state of science and technology determines the socio-economic progress of a country. In the ancient time, the earliest form of science and technology were human artifacts, found during prehistoric time about 2.3 million years ago. They were roughly shaped stones used for chopping and scraping that are found primarily in Eastern Africa. Some of the earliest records of signs came from Mesopotamian cultures around 400 or 400 before Christ. Some of the earliest records such as the disease symptoms, chemical substances, and astronomical observations were some of the evidence of emerging signs. During the same period in the Nile Valley of Egypt, information of the treatment of wounds and diseases were found. Mathematical calculations are used in geometry and trigonometry such as angles, rectangles, triangles, and the volume portion of a pyramid that have been found around 4000s of years. From 300 BC to 400 BC, there was a rise in the number of philosophers who wrote topics on psychology, biology, and a host of other topics. One of these was Euclid, who was known to be the father of geometry. We also have Archimedes, who is the founder of engineering mechanics and calculated the value of pi, which is the value of pi is 3.14, 15, 92, and so on, which is still used up to this day. Archimedes also invented the water pump, the pulley system, the iron claw, and the odometer. However, People during this period have developed and utilized tools, machines, and techniques without fully understanding or knowing how or why they worked in physical and chemical composition. During the early Middle Period, this period began after the fall of Western Roman Empire in 476 AD or 476 Anno Domini. On the 7th century, it was the time of the coming of Islam. And on the 8th century, it was the rise of Charlemagne. This time also was the intellectual, scientific, and technological activities were concentrated mainly in Christian faith. At this period, medicine and botanical knowledge was discovered and it was used for the church duty to help and tend the sick. There were also scientific issues that happened in this period. First reason was the medieval intellectuals had no time for occupation like in science. The second one is that clerics and intellectual thinkers do not have access to the vast amount of scientific literature written in Greek. Let us jump to the language being used at this period. First is Greek, which is written in before and during Roman Empire. It was also the language in the middle period but was lost consequently. After that was the Latin. It prevailed in Western Christianity, but few books are contained scientific subject matter. These are the philosophers or intellectual thinkers in the early Middle Period. First is Plato. His works provide suitable clues for the view of natural world in Christianity. Consider that there must be a measure of goodness in order to identify God as benevolent and maintain there be standard of goodness that independent of God. Next is Aristotle, 384 to 322 before Christ. He is a Greek philosopher and a polymath. With his book, 
physics. It made significant and lasting contribution to human knowledge. He thinks the creation of the world is based on nature only. Next one is Albertus Magnus from 1200 to 1280. He is known as Albert the Great and was one of the most universal thinkers to appear during the Middle Ages. He also believes in natural ways as the result of natural causes. And also we have Roger Bacon from 1214 to 1294. Bacon was known as Dr. Mirabilis, which is in Latin means wonderful teacher. And he is also an English Franciscan philosopher. Bacon also thought that science must be based in empirical methods.